Well, hello and good day, people of the internet. My name is Kiwi, and today I'm going to learn all of you how to start scripting for SAMP. I want to get it out there. Please do not start scripting for SAMP if you want to be the next big guy on the block that is going to have a huge SAMP server. SAMP is unfortunately not that relevant anymore, and I cannot recommend starting to learn scripting just for that purpose. Only start scripting if you want to get some enjoyment out of it, if you want to learn something about C++, or if you want to join a major server like LSRP's, uh, Red County RP's, Bay Area SRP's scripting team. Today, we're going to start out really simple at nerd level zero. Let's get right into it. Disclaimer, I am not a professional scripter. I could be doing things wrong. If you see me doing something wrong, please let me know in the comments below. I do this because I think it's fun. Thank you. All right, so you want to get yourself into scripting. There is one fundamental thing you need when you want to script, which is a SAMP server. There is multiple ways of hosting one, but I'm going to show you the three major ways of hosting it. You can host it yourself, and we of course have 0.3.7 and we have 0.3.dl. You can get a company to host it for you, or you could get a VPS. A uh, VPS is quite advanced, and I'd only recommend this if you want to start a bigger server where you want everybody to join in the entire world. Um, the SAMP hosting I would recommend if you, for instance, want to play with a group of friends. It's not that expensive, uh, but it of course does cost money. Or you can host it locally on your PC, which of course is free, but also has limitations. You of course have to port forward the server if you want to show, uh, let it be shown to people. And um, of course you have to host it on your PC, so the server will only be running when your PC is turned on and you are actually running the server at the time. Um, if you're hosting locally, you have to port forward your server. I just want to say I'm not going to get into port forwarding, but there is this great website called portforward.com. You can search it up and it, it'll show you how to port forward on your specific router. I'm not going to get into it. I'm sorry, but um, yeah, local hosting, you need to port forward it if you want to play with your friends. Um, let's just uh, start a server locally right now that only we can join on our own PC so we can get into scripting. Um, I'm running a Windows system, so uh, let's download a Windows server. Um, once the server has been downloaded, well, there it is, and <laughs> that was quick, uh, you want to export it to wherever you like it to be. Uh, I normally just put things on my desktop. Uh, you could put it wherever on your PC, it doesn't quite matter. Um, when you have your server, um, you of course have all these files and folders. Uh, I'm just going to go through all the folders and all the files real quick to just explain you what everything is. Um, here we have our filter scripts. Filter scripts are awesome and a great way to learn about scripting. Go into the SAM forums and go look at people that filter scripts. Go look into their uh, P uh, PWNs and uh, just, just look at what they did, look at how they scripted. Uh, look at how things are made and I can assure you it's it's a big way of learning uh, scripting. Filter scripts are basically just small scripts people like to make uh, that you can uh, add to your server without having to add them to your main script. Uh, it does have its limitations of course but it's it's really good and it's uh, really really fun. Your game modes, uh, this is your main script. Uh, at default, it's set to Grand Lark, I think you pronounce it. <laughs> Please don't blame me on this, I do not know. Um, these, this is just the script of your server. This is what we are going to be working on in this series. And this is what I'm going to learn you on how to make. Uh, we have our includes. Uh, this is something cool we're going to get into the future. Um, it also has to do, you can include all kinds of things in your scripts, um, but I'll show you this in the future. Um, we have our models, which is the new feature in 0.3.dl. You can add custom models uh, and custom skins to your server, uh, which are um, saved in the models folder. We have NPC modes. It, of course, has to do with your NPCs. Going to go into that into the future. And we have Pano. Pano is a tool we're going to be using to make our script. Um, there are other tools, but I really recommend using Pano. If you get this error, don't worry about it. Just press OK. Uh, I'm just going to show you the Grand Lark script, for instance. You see all this text, which might be gibberish to you. Uh, I can assure you I, what I'm reading here. I know exactly what's going to be happening. Uh, but this is what I'm going to be learning all you guys. I'm basically going to learn you guys on how all this works and how you can make stuff yourself. 
Uh, Pano, great tool, is what we're going to be using. Uh, we have our plugins. Plugins are really cool. Uh, for instance, if you check CERP, we have our TeamSpeak plugin, which lets us link our TeamSpeak to our SAM server. Also something we're going to get into the future plugins. Really cool stuff. Uh, it's going to be a great video. We have our script files. Uh, I honestly uh, don't know what this is for. I never touched it, never used it. Um, there is just uh, coordinations and things in there. It's... Uh, it's it's uh, coordinations. I don't know. It's it's cool, I guess. Uh, announce you can keep uh, leave it be. Uh, we're not going to be using this at all. Sam license. Just read this real quick. Um, uh, Sam NPCs. We're not going to be using it now. Maybe in the future. I'm not sure. I to be quite honest, I've never actually used it. And we then have our Sam server.exe. Um, this is to launch your server. Um, if we try to launch it now, it'll uh, open and close immediately and you will get a thing called your server log. In the server log, uh, it's basically what it says. It's the log of your server. Right now it says in your server log, your password must be changed to the, uh, from the default password. Please change it. Um, and well, it's I'll show you the server log in a second because it's quite difficult how to explain what the server log is if there is no server log available. Uh, we have uh, the server readme, uh, all the good stuff. Uh, just you can read this. You you can also not read it because I'm going to be showing you everything on how to configure this. Um, let's go into our server.cfg. Our server.cfg is basically the settings of our server. If we open up our server CFG, we will see multiple things. We will see uh, this little text. You can just leave it be, uh, and we see LAN mode, um, and it's set to zero. Zero basically equals uh off and one equals on lesson number one zero equals off one equals on land mode we're gonna uh keep turn off we don't need it we're not gonna be uh letting people on our network at home join our server so just leave it at zero uh this is for special uh special special lands i i honestly think nobody is still using this uh, we have our RCON password. This is the password of our server and you see it says change me. This is why our server was not booting because we have to set a password for our server. I'm just going to set it to QB. Doesn't quite matter right now because nobody will be able to join my server because I am not port forwarding it. We have our max players. You can set this to a thousand. You can set this to zero. I'm going to set it to 32. We have our server port. The default SAM port is 7777. Um, if you, for instance, host multiple servers on one VPS, it, it will be interesting to change this up and then get a host name. Uh, right now, just leave it at 7777, something we're going to go into the future. Uh, your host name, let's just say QB, uh, QB scripting adventure. I suppose uh, the game mode is, of course, uh, the game mode we're going to have selected that is found in your game modes file um, or oh, file folder. My bad. Uh, we're going to just keep it at Grand Lark right now. Um, yeah, well, I'm just going to keep it Grand, Grand Lark because I'm going to show you off that our server will be working in a minute. We have the filter scripts. We've just gone into what a filter script is. This is where you select the filter script you want to have running. For instance, you have GL actions here and in your filter scripts folder, there will be something called GL actions. That's the filter script that you have loaded. All the filter script that you want to have loaded into your server will be put here. We have announced we're not going to be using that. So zero equals off. We're going to keep it at zero. Chat logging is something interesting. If you launch your server and for instance, I type something in a chat, then it will show me that in the server log. I normally turn it off because it creates a lot of spam, but I do see why people will turn it on. We'll also go into this into the future. We have our web URL. You can change this to whatever you want it to be. I'm going to change it to form.crp.com. We have all, all the on foot range, in car rate, uh, range, what am I was saying? Rate, in car rate, uh, weapon rate, stream distance, stream rate. Max NPCs, uh, lock time format. Please leave this at default. Please do not touch this. We'll go into this into the future. We have a language, speaks for itself. You can set it to anything. English, Dutch, uh, German, uh, whatever. We're just going to keep it at English because we're going to be making our server English. Um, 
Use artwork uh, is set to one. This is uh, the new feature in 0.3.dl. Uh, it's the custom models. If you do not want to use the custom model, set it to zero. Zero equals off, one equals on. Um, I'm just going to leave it on because I'm going to be using the custom models. Sleep, uh, leave it at one. And MTU, leave it at 1400. Never use it. Don't know what it is. Don't care what it is. Save it and we are good to go. Uh, back to our server folder and back to samp uh, server.exe. Uh, if you click it now, it'll work. Your server is there. You can close it by pressing Ctrl C. You can close it by click, uh, pressing the cross. I'd recommend pressing Ctrl C because it's the legit way of uh, closing down the server. And uh, it, it, it'll it actually use all the executions that you need instead of just closing it down. All right, so your server is set up and you are basically good to go. How do you join your server? Um, your server does not technically have an IP. You could go to ipchicken.com or just type in your own house IP in this place. But um, what I always do is just enter local host. Um, uh, what local host means, it basically tells uh, the San Andreas multiplayer uh, window thingy uh, program here that uh, there is a local host going on in in this PC, which is of course this thing. We're locally hosting the server and um, we want to connect to our local host. Uh, just press OK and you'll see, hey, your server is there. Congratulations. Your local host server is on your uh, favorite tab. Uh, we can just join this. Um, this window that you're getting, you might not get. This is if you have multiple monitors. Don't worry about this. Let's just join our server and see if everything works fine. Uh, knowing Samp, it could either crash or it could not work. <laughs> A lot of scripting is just trial and error. Um, and we're certainly going to see that in the upcoming videos. Uh, I think this is just going to work fine, but we'll see. Yeah, there we go. It works fine. Everything you see here is scripted and made. Uh, this is not something you get in your default script or anything. This is all made by someone. Um, but I'm going to show all of you guys how to make things like this. I'm not going to show you exactly how to make this, of course, but I'm going to show you how to make different things. Also, this, this is the on player class um, and all this. You see the server is working. That is just what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, this is all fine. Uh, look at this. Ooh, it's a server. It's amazing. Uh, we're not going to be use anything. Uh, so we're just going to quit again and head to our server. Our server is going to be made from scratch. So what can we do? We can remove all the filter scripts. We can remove all the game modes and we can head into Pono. Open up Pono. If you get the error, just press OK and start a new script. Uh, we're not going to be making a filter script, so feel free to remove uh, the public unfilter script initiation. Uh, feel free to remove the if defined filter script. Uh, feel free to remove the unfilter script exit. And feel free to remove the else. Keep the main. You can enter all kind of stuff here that people will see if you launch your scripts. Let's say uh, this is the awesome script we are making. Doesn't quite fit, so let's just make this a bit bigger in there. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, and uh, keep this all B. You could also remove and DIF. Um, now I'm going to show you uh, a couple of things in Pono. You have your open option. You can open scripts here, and it would already say, do you want to save your stuff? Uh, let's just uh, keep it in. This is your save feature. Uh, we want to save our script and we're going to name our script. Um, I'm just going to call it QB for now because uh, I'm unoriginal as fuck. Um, saved it as QB. You have your find feature. Let's say I want to find on player connect. Well, there it is. Uh, we have uh, next in find and previous in find. Let's say I want to find return. And I press this, it's going to go to the next one. If I press this, it's going to go to the previous one. This is if you want to replace uh, something in your script. Let's say you want to replace the word awesome with uh, sick. And you press OK. And then it'll ask you, do you want to change this awesome to sick? And then, yeah, you, know, you see, this is now a sick script instead of awesome. You have your compile button, which is the most, uh, well, the button you're going to click a, a lot. Uh, because this basically makes your script from a P, 
uh, wn in a amx file. Uh, if you run a server, the server will not run from your pwn file, it will run from an amx file. I'll show you if I compile this script, uh, you'll see this come upon uh, compiler 3.2.3664. Uh, if this happens, you know it worked. If it doesn't, it'll tell you there's warnings or errors and you will see it did not work. Uh, in our folders, you will now see the qb.amx. Uh, the pwn is only used to edit and make your script. The amx is actually the file that executes your script. Um, so we have made our script. We have compiled our script. Now, how do we run our script? Uh, well, like I told you, like I said, uh, we have our server settings in our server.cfg and we have our game mode setting in the server.cfg and we just change that to whatever your game mode's name is. All the filter scripts can go because we're not using them. You can just save this, close it and launch your server. You see, uh, this is a sick script we are making. Wow, it's our first scripting thing that happened on our server. Uh, it is there, uh, we're not getting any errors, everything is fine. And if you now check this, there will be a blank script. There, our ping will still be very low, and then we of course have the 32 players. The name is still the same, but you can see the script we were running is not there anymore. And we are now running the QB script, at least. We named the QB, could also be the Jimmy script, or the Bobby script, or the whatever script, just whatever you named it. Let's just join this real quick. And then I'll show you our last thing, which is the RCON. And then I'm going to finalize this video. And then in the next video, I'll actually show you how to make server commands. I'll show you how to make uh, default spawn settings. I'll show you something else. And maybe I'll even show you guys how to script things that you have left in the comments below. Let's just join our server real quick. I already see something went wrong. What do you do if you are connecting and joining game doesn't work? Fairly easy. Close it, close your server down and launch it again and join again. Um, well, scripting is a lot of trial and error and because it's SAMP, it's of course <laughs> not the best and the sickest thing of everything. Um, there's just a lot of trial and error that's going to be happening. Just be aware of that. Um, as you see, I'm now connected to QB scripting adventure. Um, there is literally nothing here. Like in before we could pick a character, but now we cannot even do that because there is nothing in this script to do. Uh, let's just press spawn and you'll see, hey, we're in Las Venturas because uh, reasons. In this script, there is literally nothing. There is nothing. The only, there's no slash help, there is no slash TP, there is nothing. It's just you, CJ, in the SAM world, and that is basically it. The only command you have is slash RCON, which is the login of your server. Uh, we changed this to QB, if you remember, and if you want to log into your RCON, you type slash RCON login server password. See, you are now logged in as admin. Let's say uh, we want as an RCON, we can do a lot of stuff. We can load filter scripts is there actually an rco and help no i don't think so but uh, on the sam forms there's a whole list of all the rco and commands if you want to find that uh, let's say we want to restart our server it's rco and slash gmx the server is restarting in a second we will connect again this is where i'm gonna uh, uh, leave this video be uh, i hope you guys learned something from this in the next video we'll actually dive into the scripting itself um, for now, though, <clears throat> if you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments. <coughs> My voice is fucking me over, so it might be a good idea to get some <laughs> something to drink. Uh, if you have any suggestions on what you want to see me script, what you want to learn about to script, leave it in the comments. Also, if you have any questions about scripting, leave them in the comments. If it's about port forwarding, please don't bother me with it. Um, give me suggestions in the comments. I want to thank you for watching and I will see you maybe in the next script video if you're still interested. Have a good one.